We're recording this interview on the 24th of April, and I actually found out this year for the first time um, ever <laughs> that in the United States, this month is considered Poetry Month. So in my mind, it has now become the Universal Poetry Month in the sense that this is the month where I like to think that everyone in the world is celebrating poetry. And uh, I was wondering whether you might care to read maybe one of your poems or a poem that you like by somebody you admire. It would be really great. Well, thank you. And I will. I think I'll read a, a short poem from Adamantine. Hmm. This I've is your last done a couple of online. Right? Yeah, so this is my latest collection. And it contains a sequence that I wrote when I was ill. Hmm. And I have been reading online a little bit um, since the lockdown. And I have realized there are so many parallels between my cancer experience and, and COVID-19. So... This is a short poem that maybe touches on maybe one of the more positive similarities. The Cancer Breakthrough Will not take place in a lab or corporate boardroom. Won't foam in a test tube, blink in code on a screen. Be hawked for megabucks by Big Pharma or flood the world's RSS feeds. The Cancer Breakthrough is happening now and again and again in the echoing space, that cold ocean of years between one heart and another. So I think obviously medical advances are essential, but you know, to me it's the, it's the spiritual and emotional breakthroughs of illness um, that will really, really be transformative.